Good afternoon, Affordable Plane Builders. This is Terry Adair in Houston, Texas, and we're working on the Affordable Plane here in the garage. You can see her sitting right there. She's hacked back in, tucked away. But what I'm concentrating on now are these wings. So I wanted to put together just a short video just to kind of show you fellas how this is coming along. We have uh, altered the plans just a little bit. Foam ribs I decided not to do. Going with the aluminum ribs and I found these uh, style of ribs on a YouTube video and uh, I'll see if I can provide a link for you if you're interested in doing this style of a wing rib. Uh, one thing that I've done on mine is I'm adding this aluminum angle right here which is actually riveted to the bottom of the rib and it goes all the way down the length of the wing and there will be another one that I'm going to put down on the bottom rib as well and then every other rib or so I'm going to add a vertical brace from the top down to the bottom rib just to help give it a little bit of stability that seems to tie it in real good the way I have it now so I'll walk down here and I'll show you these uh, these brackets that I fabricated are one off uh, you just figure out what it is you need trace out a template and they rivet right into the rib and into the side of the wing spar same thing on the back end and we use the stainless steel rivets the rest of the frame is built out just like the plans in a truss this is the uh, right wing tip the right wing tip bow it's not uh, permanently affixed yet I have some Coleco's holding it in place and I added just a wee bit of taper to it rather than coming perfectly straight I angled it in just a little bit just my little touch on the design should not affect anything as far as aerodynamics in fact if anything maybe it'll give it a little bit more sweep but again it's just for aesthetics and here we have the frame for the left wing waiting on some wing tubes some half inch aluminum so that I can fabricate more wing ribs over there in my pile of junk you'll see some uh, old 30 second uh, aluminum which is what I use to fabricate those wing rib joiners that you see front and back of every wing rib And this eliminates the need for having the aircraft spruce uh, aluminum tips. Suppose you could go that way if you want. But uh, these little things are not hard to fabricate. And I have lots of aluminum and lots of rivets. So I just decided to go ahead and do that. As far as where they attach, I just kind of not necessarily coat the ends of the tubes. I just mitered them a little bit to make them meet up with the ends of the wing a little smoother and I made just a simple jig that uh, before I actually bent the tubes I went ahead and put those in and just to make sure I got them straight and we're gonna walk into my shop here where it's a little bit dirty see if I can find that wing jig here it is not necessarily a wing jig, but this is just my angle that I put together. It's a little block of wood and uh, got a little fiberglass on it because I split the wood. But uh, it holds everything together and I just make my miter on one end and I stick the tube in here on the other end. That keeps everything nice and straight so when I cut the other end, they're not off at different angles. <clears throat> so... I don't know if I can illustrate that 
I will try my best. Okay, this here is not half inch, but it's enough to give you an idea. So after my after mitering one end of the tube, I slide it in here like that, and that holds it in place so that I can cut the other end and I make sure that this angle and this angle are actually perpendicular to each other or I'm sorry parallel to each other so that uh, you don't have one that's kind of cattywampus this away and one that's kind of going this away and then once those are both cut then I place it into my little jig and I bend my wing now somewhere in here I have a jig but I'll show you what I've been using to bend my hat my uh, one inch tubing with these drill bits this right here you see just a big circle and I believe that's a 12 inch round and I just use my router to go through there and round that out and I'm able to take my tubing and stick it in here like this and I wedge it up against this block and I just pull the tube around so no mandrels no expensive stuff just something very simple now it's gonna be hard to see this because I have so much stuff in the way but this area right here you can kind of see goes all the way down to here now, of course I got a lot of junk in the way right now which gets cleaned off while I'm doing my wing rib fabrication but this is my jig I don't want to remove it while I'm working because I want this to continually uh, well I want it to stay constant for every rib I make so these are just screwed down uh, I have a straight rib which will go into there and it comes all the way back to here and then my bent rib for the top fits up here and so long as it's it's it starts here, comes through here, that little block holds it in place. So long as it's within these little red lines all the way back, that ensures that every rib has the same form. All right. Here's the airplane uh, panel the engine information system we have a couple of different uh, USB connections right here we have a regular micro USB and then I guess this is a universal what do they call that a class C USB for my phone which uh, has my EFIS and uh, whatnot on it there's our compass now to power these right here that one could be used for radio, one can be used for my instrument. I purchased this right here. This is just a DC-DC converter. And, of course, that's wired into my system. And that allows me to drop the voltage for lower voltage items such as cell phones or radios. And down there we have our fuse box. We've not yet put anything down on this side. We have fabricated... A cover but I want to leave this partially open for the time being uh, in case I need to get back in here and do any work now the way this thing works you can see it just comes down here and if it'll focus there are some USB connections right here and they're just held together with some zip ties just to make sure they don't come unplugged um, they're not falling out because they're tie strapped and wrapped in there but you know, if you happen to pull one out and you plug it into a radio or whatever, you, you don't want it to come unplugged out of there. So that just holds everything in place. Okay. All right. Well, most of this airplane you guys see in other videos. Uh, we've got an hour worth of uh, runtime on the engine and we repitch the prop. The prop is now at uh, 10 degrees, and we are getting a 5,200 RPM static on the ground, and that that seems like it's doing a lot better. The temperatures are holding. Um, we haven't put on a cooling 
cowl up here or anything yet. Um, right now, we're not even close to having any overheating issues. But, you know, I may go ahead and make one of those anyway. I've already made a template for it. It's just a matter of uh, doing the metal work. Now this side, we've already riveted down, cleaned it up. Have a few more rivets to put down here. We'll have to remove the muffler to get to those. So, okay. A little bit of fuel in there. We got a couple, a little bit more stuff I'm going to do to the fuel tank. I'll address those in a later video. But uh, right now, I just wanted to show you those wings. Okay, guys. Talk to you later. Signing out.